Every deck has its own legacy and position of power. Where does your deck fall among the rubble? Every two weeks, a tournament is played out, but for every archetype that makes it to the final stage, they are banished for the rest of the series. Who will be the last card standing? No matter what my opponent says, don't watch our replay. It's just day one, so it must be a great game. Nice. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We got Mr. Zeef versus uh, Plants, Aroma. The fabled Chawa discards Lurry to special itself. Lurry summons itself. Doppel Warrior triggers because a monster is specialed from the graveyard. This lets us go into Fabled Ragin, which allows you to draw two cards until you have two cards in your hand here. Plus, the Doppel Warrior forms uh, some tokens here. Nice. Okay, we're kind of popping off here. Mr. Zeef, I hope you're paying attention. Synchro Shokan into Double Star Shaman. That's going to let you uh, bring back the Doppel Warrior. We got a level three Synchro into... Who the heck is this? Samsara Sorrow Cat? Okay, discard special Nizuchi for a Dragster. Doppel Warrior bringing back some more tokens here. Nice. We'll have Avarice time. Uh, let's just uh, draw two cards. Very nice. And another Doppel Warrior and a Fabled Cerebral. Kashano discards the Cerebral to add itself back from the graveyard, triggering the Cerebral. Uh, I've pronounced this like four different ways now. Sorry, I apologize. Unicorn plus the Sorrow Cat. Target the Double Star Shaman or recycle the Double Star Shaman to go. <laughs> <laughs> Quasar fabled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did not expect that. Damn. Uh, <laughs> okay, negate the spell and trap with Dragster here. What does Quasar actually do, by the way? I, it's, it's kind of power crept, isn't it? By the, the Majestic ones or whatever they're called. Like, you know, the new Synchrons. Oh, it's just Borrow Sword with extra steps. Nice. Uh, very cool. Wait, what are we doing here? Is this like a negate attack? Attempting to use the dried winds here, but that's a negate by dragster. So negate and destroy the dried winds and Quasar! They should give this guy an animation, dude. I swear to god. GG! Holy crap! Quasar jump scared it. Oh, that's incredible. Alright, it's Ray time versus, uh, Warrior Clock Knights? Something like that? Neo Space Connector, Hector, Four Eyed Spectre, Clock Knight, Aqua Dolphin discards a card here. Does not hit anything. We got five spells and traps in our hand here. Coral Dragon into Black Winged Assault Dragon. What the hell is this? Coral Dragon draw a card here into Cockadoodle Doo. Uh, Assault Dragon Pass. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do here? MST Blind hits that limiter removal. Yup, Clock. Chicken Game. Going to draw into the True Name. All right. We're just going to chill for a turn here. And chicken game might be a double-edged sword here, I'm not going to lie. Using it to destroy, though. One for one sends the cock. Special summons Torque Tune Gear out of the deck here. Target this equips to it. Eats 4200. We're just chilling on a big Black Winged Assault Dragon. End phase Metal Reflex Slime is special summoned to the field here. Draw for turn. And now we're going to activate the chicken game. Drawing into a card advance. There's the combo. Card advance. Stack the top of the deck. True name, declare obelisk, add obelisk, special obelisk from the deck here. And now we can uh, go into soul crossing, tributing obelisk for obelisk. Maybe that's like a Salmon Grade or something. Unique animation. Battle phase, hit for uh, 3,500. Breaking Ruin God in the battle phase. Bring back obelisk and go to crush fist for game. Bat! <laughs> Wow, what a setup, dude. Double obelisk for game. GG. Okay. Second coin toss plus dice jund and snipe hunter and that six versus Metaphys. Metaphys, ace a Metaphys here activating, banishing a Metaphys to draw one. Banishes the Ascension here. Ascension, I think, adds any Metaphys card from the deck to the hand here. That's actually a kind of a dream start from this deck, which is, you know, not saying it too much, but here we go. Activates the field spell. Normal summon Ragnarok, banish three off the top here randomly. Actually hits a Dedalus and a Shell of Chaos. 
Dimension in the standby phase is flipped up here. The Dallas is going to recycle to banish the Ascension. Ace of Metaphys and Ascension forming a chain on the opponent's standby. Is it your turn or is it my turn? Well, we're going to add a Metaphys Executor. Very edgy. All right, now it's finally time to play the game here. Second coin toss. Couple of aces, baby. Couple of aces. It's Jen and Ken. We hit heads here. We're not going to uh, give the... Uh, we're not going to go second coin toss. We like drawing two cards. Very nice. Here's Dimension, though. Going to bring back the Draco. Doesn't do anything. Draws two cards here. Dice Dungeon adds a Dimension Dice. Activates that Dimension Dice. Tributing off the Cup of Aces. Special Summoning Orgoth the Relentless. Who rolls two dice here. Only hits a one. and Oh, about a five. A four. Goes up to 3,500 attack mode. Uh, misjudge. And Orgoth clearing the field here. And we set a that six. All right. Dice dungeon, baby. That's putting in work here. Metaphys going to go ace of Metaphys in the standby phase. Misjudge flips two coins here. Only one on heads. Are we going to second coin toss? We are going to second coin toss. We go again. And unfortunately for us, we did not hit double heads. All right. Uh, we got the Metaphys Tyrant Dragon banished here. Dimension plus Asa Metaphys doing something to Orgoth the Relentless. Banishing it. Is that permanent? Here's a DiFi being activated here. We got Chaos Mirage Dragon. That brings back that Shell of Chaos that was banished earlier to go into Angel of Zero. What year is this? In the battle phase, we're going to go Dice Dungeon and flip that six. Let's just see what happens. Dice Dungeon effect. Six. Four. That six. Six becomes one. Okay, not much happened. I think we just took less damage. That's it. <laughs> Very exciting. All right. Uh, what do we got next here? We're going to go diced dice. Roll into a three here. That six. Three is changed to six. Now we get to add dice foon or draw dice foon. Dice foon. Roll. Hits five. Five pops two cards. Normal summon twin. Bro, it's like tier limit with extra steps. Activate twin barrel dragon. Actually hits double heads. Pops the Ace of Metaphys into a second dice dungeon for Dimension Dice here. Activates the Dimension Dice, tributing the Twin Barrow Dragon. Summons another Orgoth from the deck here. Orgoth gonna ro uh, roll the dice here. Hits a five and a five and a four. 3,900 battle phase dice dungeon. Five, three, that six. Attack directly for 7,800. I don't know what happened, but we managed to manipulate the dice rolls into a direct attack and a double attack or something. Actual loaded dice gameplay. Holy shit, based. All right, here we go. Uh, Evil Soars. We've got Evil Diversity adding Mega Sorella. I think this is like one of the newer ones. Newer ones, quote unquote. Tributes itself on a Volcano to summon a Volcano. Volcano, summon Volcano. Oh my god. It's only a two-card combo, but it makes a lagia. Honestly, not that bad. Actually, not that bad. All right, normal summon Metal Re Reflector Slime in the battle phase. Uses the effect to set Metal Reflect Slime from the deck here. Specialing the Metal gets hit with MST. <laughs> no, you can't just MST Obelisk. <laughs> no. Main phase two here. Monster Reborn targeting the Metal Reflect Slime. Let's it go on the lagia. Okay, activate the Metal Reflect Slime, summoning two tokens, and uh, going into a card advance to stack the deck here. Actually negates it with Lagia this time. Chains Evo Singularity. Uh, this card is insane, by the way. It's like an Ixie Reborn Soul Charge. Here we go. Double Lagia, let's go. <laughs> nice, all right. Evil Swords are now meta. End phase, we're going to go Trap Tricks here for Compulse. <laughs> that's so shit. <laughs> We're searching compulse. That's how bad the, the decks are, man. All right. One of these Lagia is going to be used into Vespinado, the one with no materials. Gets to Pierce now. Deals 2,000 damage here. Lagia attempts to attack with the Metal Reflex Slime, the Jam Reactor, whatever. Gets another one from the deck here. Clears the token. Can we top deck? Obodisk. That's what we need. We need Mr. Obodisk himself here. Can we get him? Draw for turn. True name. We could just sack it, maybe. Uh, here is Egyptian Gotta Slime. Battle phase attempts to attack over here. Gets run into the... Runs into the Compulse here. Main phase two. Do we have something tantalizing? Trap Chun tries to draw and uh, gets negated with Lagia. Chains Trap Trick. Don't tell me that's another evil singularity on resolution here. Trap Trick. Banish evil singularity. We're gonna... Is, is it time for the third Lagia? Are you gonna do it on resolution? 
<laughs> oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> Summoning out. Oh, we're going for a solder. Shit, okay. What, what, what's solder do? Oh, it's just solemn warning. Jeez. Okay. Uh, not bad. Uh, but that unfortunately is game on board here. 75. Oh, wait, hold. We got a trap here. The tr what is this? Soul Energy Max. Adds Obelisk. The Breaking Ruin God. Special Obelisk. We live. We live. Wait, solder effect. Um, wait, what does it do? When your opponent specials a monster, detach, destroy that monster. It's immune, right? Unaffected by card effects. Ha <laughs> ha! And then it sends itself to the grave. All right, cool. Great, awesome. Now what? Oh! Oh my god, Tom decked another one! He always does this! He always does this! Oh my god. But then it just goes again. It's just like nothing happened. You might as well top deck smashing ground. <laughs> just, nothing happened. Wait, do we live a turn? Oh my god, do we get to live a turn though? Third one? Third one. Third one, right? Surely? Third one? Oh no, card advance. Unlucky. Unlucky. Damn. <laughs> what a game. Alright, uh, what do we have? Uh... <laughs> the hell's your opponent playing? I just, I don't even know. Okay, chicken game, we drew a country. Ojama red, summon pink and red here. For Ojama emperor. Turn one, baby. Pink gets to draw a card that discards Oja magic. Oh, that's huge. Okay, and then we get to add three here. And then uh, new field spell, Ojama country, 3000 emperor. Uh, target the Ojama pink, gets hit with a ghost Jesus spell. There's no... Bruh, you're, you're hey. playing... You're playing... Ghost spell and it's actually coming up. That's hilarious. All right, we're gonna discard and bring back Ojama Pink with the country here, and then just pass turn. I think I know what's coming here. All right, uh, here's a fusion sage. Adds polymerization. What are you gonna do? Fuse your uh, trap cards. All right, buddy. Set four. Set four. What are we gonna do about this? Uh, Ojama Emperor gonna target black. Revive black. Discard green. Attempt to uh, revive an Oyama here. Bad aim. When your opponent activates a card, uh, target a card in the field, destroy it. Oh my god, this thing is immune? Hey yo, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Haha, <laughs> reading. And ladies and gentlemen, we have currently on the field, yellow, green, black, which means we can perform the Ojama Delta Hurricane, which does what? Destroys all cards your opponent controls. Let's go. All right, is this even game? It's not game. That's, it's not game. It's still not game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, past turn here. Heart of the cards. What can we draw here? Absolutely nothing. A book of Tayo. That is so unfortunate. All right, GG. Oyama control is looking terrible. But we got to resolve Delta Hurricane, so you know what? I'm happy. <laughs> Unban block dragon, bro. Yeah, I, I I tried my hardest to keep block dragon into the, in the game for like multiple weeks in the LCS, and it just ruined every single uh, top cut every single time. I think uh, someone topped with Block Dragon every week until I banned it. It was it was it was just no. It was just, it just, we just had to. It was just no luck, you know. Unbanned tier limit. <laughs> <laughs> I can be trusted. Fabled Ragin, draw two. A bank. Fabled Unicorn. A bank. Discard. Bring back. Effect of Luri. Summon. Make a second Ragin. Um, Zara, 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 Cat. Oh my god, you're not Quasar passing on me, bro. Please stop, dude. No, you're not Quasar passing on me. Monster Reborn, bring back Fabled Ragin. Oh my god, does this draw to on summon or synchro? Okay, it's on synchro summon. Never mind. Holy fuck! Jesus, what the? Quasar Crystal Wing, Bat Chest. All right, how are we outing this one? Ride of the Valkyries. Okay, yup, cluck, chicken game. Uh, yup, cluck, chicken game. We go again. That's a summoner monk. Activate Valhalla. Valhalla effect to special summon. Chain Quasar. I don't, what does Quasar? Is it just an Omni negate? Just negate and destroy Quasar. Okay. That's unlucky. Activate that card that I can't say the name of. What the? F what? <laughs> special summon a level four or lower fairy. Uh, and if you do equip it with this, then return all dragons on the field to the... This is just a randomly the most. It's just an anti dragon card. It, for no reason, you got paired up against a, a dragon end board, and it just happened to be the bet. Like, sphere mode on fucking crack. Alright, anyway, uh, special summon dirt here who gets sex. 
Uh, activate Zigrun. Send field spell to special herself. Effect to special summon sex. Sex effect special summon Erda. Normal summon summoner monk. Uh, these things make a hip Hoshininga and increasing the light uh, attack points here. Summon a monk. Discard special summon another copy of dirt into starring knight. And that's just game. We OTK through crystal wing Cle and quasar. <laughs> That's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's dragons versus counter fairies. All right, we're gonna enter the void here, and that's our first normal summon dark worm here to add the donut. Activate Destrudo. We're making a seven. It's oh no, we're just making a monster for beyond the sus here to add a harvest angel. Works pretty well being level four, doesn't it? Kind of, sort of, not really. Uh, eight, sorry, what am I talking about? Level four and eight scale. Triple burst dragon. W why the triple burst dragon though? Like, what's that about? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay. You know what? We don't care. Dragon shrine, we're gonna dump. Oh wow, we're just a dark core mirror match here. We're gonna cosmic one of these idiots here. That's a, that's a black core number one. Allure of darkness hits the Nocto vision dragon. Are you going to be a coward? Or will you blind allure? He's not blind alluring. Well, he is blind alluring, but he's just not. He's, he's doing it the, the correct way, which is, you know, not usual. Uh, here's Dart Worm in the graveyard. That's just going to be hit with Solemn Warning. That's kind of funny, actually. Uh, it would be really funny if it wasn't once per turn. LP! Pisty, rather. That's still legal. Dragon's Mirror for Boral Lord Furious Dragon. Yeah, you can't black horn that one, idiot. Ha ha ha. Activate Boral Lord, destroy Artemis. Wait, that was game? Oh my god, Destrudo! <laughs> <laughs> Destrudo warning, it was just 2,000 damage. Sometimes people just forget their payments, but uh, it actually comes up. Yeah, and you're like, no, I'm not going to play Heratic and Saga, it's going to lose to uh, Harpies. That's not why I didn't play it, the deck just wasn't good. I didn't pull any... Uh, um, What's it called? Uh, extra deck cards for it, that's the issue. Uh, what are we doing here? We're small worlding for who? Two Heratic players in top cut, it looks like. Tribute, special summon, Zolkin. They're just both playing like Zolkin turbo decks. Okay. Power tool, Braver Dragon. <laughs> what? Really? There's nothing else you can equip to Braver Dragon except Nuzzler? There's nothing else that comes to mind. Okay. All right. Here's a Hall of uh, Valhalla. Going to special summon Zvaita. Power to Braver Dragon can negate by sending the equip here. Are we going to XD Nuzzle to the top of the deck? No, it doesn't look like it. Calls four here, hits a Zigrun. Oh my god, that's the most broken one. Special summons out Funf. And one for one, special summon Sex. Sex is going to special summon Erda. Funf, send spell. Sex, send two. Ride of the Valkyries. Banish, adds Mischief of the Goddess from the deck to the hand here. Battle phase, punch the baby. And again, the Braver, sorry. I don't know why I said baby. Uh, hit for 26. Hit for 2,000. Activate Mischief of the Time Goddess. Skip to the next battle phase, baby. And attack again. Battle phase two. <laughs> Valkyries OTKing their way through to top eight. Oh, gimmick puppets versus normal monsters. Pendulum. Gonna start with the baby. Special summon out Asko Karibo. Overlays into Dreadnoid. And passes. Okay, nice. Uh, the opponent, opponent, draw good cards here with painful decision. Sends a Templar here. Adds Templar, scales up Paladin. And scales up Squire. Panlom! Three cards here into Tornado Dragon. Tornado Dragon effect is going to detach and pop Barrage Blast. Chain Barrage Blast. Detach two from the Barrage Blast. We're going to pop the Tornado Dragon and the Scale here. All right. I see you. Activate Summoner's Art. That's going to get another Scale. And now we can activate both of these Scales here that we can destroy to add a Fire Woya from deck to the hand here. Fire Woya is going to activate and put in Squeak Knight, who summons himself to go into a Link Summon. Oh, Ferocious Flame Swordsman. <laughs> Noah's oldie for you, am I right? Battle Phase, Ferocious Flame Swordsman crashes himself. Targets the Templar, revives the Templar, Dreadnought effect at the end of the battle phase, I think it's the rank up here. But now the Justice Bringer gets to negate the activation. Uh, doesn't destroy, so that's something. 
Makes a Ragna zero and passes turn. Wow, okay. Desperation move here. That doesn't do much. Baboska is banned. Sets a puppet parade and can't attack over this. All right, we're just chilling. Top decks a vanilla here. Passes back here. Do we not attack over this? Destroyed by an opponent's monster by battle special from your extra deck. Okay, I guess we don't want to do that. All right, now it's time to stare at one another. <laughs> and now it's time to stare. Okay, we're, now we have some plays. Here we go. Humpty Dumpty plus Jiri Doll. Link away into the Chimera Doll. Chimera Doll adds the Biscuit. Special summon the Biscuit. Overlay into... Look at those tuts! Activate the Giant Grinder. Gets to destroy an XE monster. And burns for 2400. Because it's an XE, uh, XE monster. Uh, giant Hunter is now ranked up into his wee punch for 15 and 25 here. Alright, and that's going to be the end of the turn here. Uh, we need to draw a scale here. That's a sublimation knight. Do we have any way to, like, scale here? Oh, wait. Huh. Wait. Hang on. Genuine ruling question. Is this equipped pendulum considered a scale? <laughs> Genuine ruling question. Is this considered a scale? No? Okay. Damn, that's crazy. Man, that's a playground ass ruling. Uh, you would tell- you, uh, you say that to your friend, and you just, like, convince them, like, gaslight them into being like, Yeah, no, that's how that works. Yeah, this is a scale. Not that I would ever do that, of course. Uh, anyway, we're gonna Puppet Parade for a uh, Biscuit Doll here. Dreary uh, gets summoned to the field here and Overlay. Uh, up into a gimmick Puppet of Strings here. Chaos Force is added back from the grave here. Battle Phase, Attack, and that's it. That's just game. All right. Nice. GG. You know, if they used my ruling, he would have won. All right, what do we got here? Uh, ooh, Heratics. Duality. Tribute the asset. Special summon some Zara, Ara, 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 Dragon. Uh, summoning out the Labrador. Pass? <laughs> not how duality is supposed to work. Dinka Bui is in shambles right now. Alright, Foolish Amphibian. We're gonna not special before drawing the donut to deck then? Question mark? Oh, he didn't even use the effect of Dark Worm. It's in his hand. Order, lol. Anyway, here's a link one of Piss. Spiral Dragon makes everything level 8 here. We're going to go and overlay into Draglubion. Dragon's Mirror, banishing the Pisty and the Defrag Dragon. Going to make Borolo the Furious Dragon. Punches the Sums, ara, 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 Dragon, which then gets to reborn the Esset. And then we're going to punch the Esset with the Draglubion. What is this? This is just a big idiot that can't be targeted, right? Oh, no. This is like the actual, like, oh, my God. It's the NR rarity uh, meta deck. Heart Earth Pass. This is like the best deck in NR format. All right, uh, here is a Dragon Shrine sending Spiral Dragon. Ooh, Levian here. Banish a Light and a Dark here. Attempt to destroy. Does not chain the Furious Dragon. Interesting. Spiral Dragon brings itself out here. Makes everything eight. Contact Synchros into the Zulkin. Sets a card, and there's the Power Tool. Racist Dragon. Racist Dragon equips two from the deck here. Bounces and activates the original Bamboo Sword. There's the Golden Bamboo Sword. Draws two. Tribute summons into the Heratic Trefnuit. Duality is it away for Moondragon Quilla. And then Labradorite is brought back here. Duality banish to put back a light and a dark and draw one card. And then makes Zulkin again. Sets a card and triggers Zulkin once more. This uh, Zulkin deck is kind of scary. Power Tool Braver puts the Heart Earth Dragon into attack mode. Isn't it like it doesn't take battle damage, right? All right, how are we actually outing this Heart Earth Dragon? It might be a bit of an issue here. Battle phase. Oh, just punch directly. The only way forward is through. And when the equip monster inflicts battle damage, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Is it destroy all cards? All monsters your opponent controls. Holy crap, we just sliced through that. Here's the Dark Worm from the graveyard here. Normal summon the Brother Tor. Crystal Wing Dragon is going to negate and destroy Spiral Dragon in the graveyard. Or rather, just not allow it to be special summoned. Link 2 Shokan into Twin Triangle Dragon. Who the fuck is this? Like the 7th best Link 2 Dragon Monster. Oh, we just summoned Spiral Dragon anyway. Oh, and then we're going to climb up into Twi Triple Burst Dragon. Oh, and then we're going to use Borrow Lord in the graveyard to revive the Triangle Dragon. And then we're going to Dragon's Mare. We're still popping off here. This is crazy. Another Borrow Lord Furious Dragon. Little bro is absolutely going ham here. Power 2 Braver Dragon puts this guy into defense mode. And now adds a Bamboo Sword with the Scent Equip here. Link everything away into Borolode Dragon. Are you going to steal the Crystal Wing? That's so funny. Hey, he steals Crystal Wing. Crystal Wing attack with the power tool. Braver Dragon resisting the attack and gaining the attack with the Crystal Wing and punch for 3,000. Holy crap, dude. What a comeback. Holy shit. How did you come back through this? What a fucking game. All right. Draw for turn here. What are we going to do about this? 
Puts the Spiral Dragon in attack mode, equips it, equips it, draw two cards, and set one, Zolkan effect, negate and destroy with the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Ooh, do we think that's a bait? Do we think that's a bait? I'm feeling a little bait here. I'm feeling a little bait and switch there. All right, and there's the uh, Dark Worm Normal Summon combined into our rank eight here. That's the Dark Knight. <gasps> that just attacks directly! Oh, 2,000 life points exactly. No! Oh, wait, hold! Boral loads reduced by 500. Oh, okay. Connects and gets to destroy the Crystal Wing. Brutal triggers, gets the special summon. Mandatory negate of the underworld. We actually live here. We actually survive. Hang on, hang on. All right. Reasoning. What are we calling here? We called six. Makes sense. What are we hitting? What are we hitting? What are we hitting? Hits a five. That's unlucky. Heratic Seal of Convocation is activated. Adds a Heratic Dragon of Zoo. We're going to special summon him now. Monster Gate. Tribute off the asset and hits a spell. Spell underscore, spell underscore, hits a Tefnuit, gets a five here. No, he's a six. No, he's a six. Uh, then bring back the Labradorite. Spider Dragon brings itself back here. We're going to make everything eight, not just yet. We're going to summon two. Tefnuit effect triggers. No other targets. Goes into Wallow. Wallow, Wallow, Bing Bong. Detaching two. Special summon Borrowload Furious Dragon from the opponent's graveyard to overlay into Heliopolis. Heliopolis is a non targeting destruction, I think, to destroy the Borrowload because I think it can be targeted, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, and that was main phase two. Draw for turn. S special defrag, normal defrag dragon into Pisty. Does this do anything? Battle phase? No. What a fucking duel, dude. Holy shit, what a game. Oh my god, that was incredible. All right. It's time for a small world. Oh, just that one, the dice roll. That's not ideal. Can San play through it? Go in second here. We've got Aratama. To search Sakitama. And uh, is, is it just like a one card combo that does this thing? I don't think so, right? Ooh, King of the Feral Imp. Interesting. King of the Feral Imp gonna search a reptile for Gage to Gage. Into the B. And set to and pass. Okay, alright. Doesn't quite have a crazy combo here. And San is uh, locked and loaded with six cards to play. Throws out a tour guide from the underworld. That's a, a good little card to just drop into two back row do we have a response for it nope we are gonna summon sangan you know i've watched like all of your replays this event and i don't think i've seen you summon tour guide once so i'm curious to see what you're gonna is it just muck yep muck it is just yep muck okay sangan effect is gonna trigger here to search for i mean just literally any piece you like i guess emergency teleport Oh, E-Tally for Wielder. Special summon out Tracker directly from the hand here because we control a level 3. And we stick up the Aroma Gardening now. Synchro Shokan. Marjoram time. Aroma Seraphy Sweet Marjoram. There she is. Activate the effect here to add Humid, Dried, or Blessed wins. Yo, I think I remember the first time I saw this card. I, I, I thought it said and. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, significantly better uh but fortunately she is actually just uh not very good well okay come on she's fine it's just an aroma card all right so we're popping with the aroma gardening here sorry with the marjoram after the gain life points here new chain the uh vespinato can float into something here so targeting the last back row that's a cosmic cyclone wait does the vespinato not float Ooh, how did we send the vespinato activate this target destroy it is it material is it mistiming did we make it miss timing? If this XE card in its own because was destroyed by opponent's card target level 5 or lower monster, you get a special summon it. Oh, because the only legal targets are spirit monsters. And they can't be special summoned. Interesting. All right. Yup, Muck discards a Rosemary to bring back Sangan. We're going to get in for some damage here. And San is uh, kind of popping off here. Not bad with one set card as well. That's the uh, trap I think we searched, right? This is Blessed Wins. Anytime we gain life points, we can pop something. So this is going to be scary. All right. We're throwing out Witch of the Black Forest. And we've got Gage to Gage. Now, do we think we just immediately pop the uh, Kage here to stop our overlay? Or do we just wait for the overlay? We are going to immediately pop here, it looks like. Uh, it's a little bit scary, though. The Hydrolander is a bit of an issue. Witch of the Black Forest Arata says you can't use the effect this turn, right? Because mm, they can still crash the witch, get Hydrolander, special Hydrolander. Yeah, we're in for a game right now. Okay, yep, is going to go try and crash here. 
Which the Black Forest goes to the grave. Oh, wow. Only 500 uh, life points left. There it is. We've got Hydrolander online. So main two, we can drop Hydrolander and just make it uh, sit there. Ooh, that's a big Avarice, though. This could draw something big. Uh, Hydrolander can't use the effect this turn, but it is a quick effect. We can use it next turn, but we need to hold it for the Blessed Winds. Oh, actually, no. I think you just, like, immediately pop the Marjoram, but, I mean, if they have any way to just answer a 3,000 vanilla, then they win. Lock. Blessed Winds can reborn Marjoram, too. Uh, yeah, you're right. So, um, we're in a bit of a situation here. Ooh, Small World. Small World Banish Summoner Monk. No, actually, the Clockwork is actually relevant right now, because you can't send a plant from your hand or face-up field. Well, you can send from your hand, actually. It's, pr it's probably not that big of a deal. What do we do here? We search Dyna Base. This just specials itself. It's a 26 wall. Let's see if uh, we've got an answer immediately to Hydrolander. A Link Summon of Transverser. Wow. Zones. Uh, Sangan is going to search fucking Grevons. There's no shot. There's no shot. Imagine playing into Transverser. Okay, we're going to use the Blessed Winds here. If you gain life, target a card, destroy it. Wait, why are we not using Hydrolander? Wait, Hydrolander's offline, isn't it? Must have at least two monsters in your grave. <gasps> oh, yeah, you need you need two monsters in your grave to activate it. Oh, yeah, it's just a vanilla. Yeah, yeah, the Avarice just switched it off. Wow. Yeah, this is looking kind of grim here. Rose Girl gets to add back. That's a free discard off of Coral Dragon. Imagine that, 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 that just was like the worst Avarice in history, I guess. Steals the Marjoram, takes the Hydrolander. We can use the Hydrolander ourselves if we want. That's kind of funny. Discard the Rose Girl with the Coral Dragon. Destroy. Fucking Krebons! Oh, there's no way you're going to attack with Krebons for game. No, there's no way we're getting Krebons for game in the grand final of the LCS. No, don't you dare. No! <laughs> Krebons for game. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Another episode and another week complete. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video and a big shout out especially to those of you who've actually been taking part. Consider contributing to the Patreon and also signing up yourself on discord.gg forward slash farfa. This week we had a great display by all kinds of different decks and strategies and we're reaching the point where we're starting to think about some ideas for season two. I'm gonna make sure to go all out and potentially try come up with a bunch of new innovative concepts for season two to really get things super special spicy off the bat here, but I would like to hear some of your feedback and suggestions about some of the things maybe you didn't like so much about season one, even the YouTube side of things outside of the actual structure. I can't wait to cook up something special because we're actually almost at the anniversary of the last card standing. It's crazy to think that we've had almost a year of this event, almost every two weeks, pretty, pretty consistently, consistently, we've had a last card standing tournament. So I'm glad that you've been on this journey with me and I hope you uh, continue and are looking forward to season two. But before season two, here we have the top cup breakdown there's still a decent amount of archetypes left uh and i can tell you that i do record these in advance and uh, the next tournament after this one is actually somehow just as crazy so stay tuned for the next episode and please join and take part yourself this isn't locked behind any paywall anymore you're just free to sign up and take part so join my discord server and you can play and of course make sure you watch it live on twitch.tv forward slash farfi stream it every second saturday but you just also join me throughout the week as well for general fun shenanigans as well thanks again for watching peace out and until next time adios